Psalm 91 from verse 1 to verse last. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with an eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and will show him my salvation. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Tonight, I want to charge you briefly on the subject of deliverance from danger and disaster deliverance from danger and disaster please bear in mind that the prayer we are praying at the beginning of the year is to cover our lives, our families, our church, our nation across the year. I don't need to let you know that we live in a very wicked world. It is not, it is not news that we live in a very dangerous war it is no news that we live in a very diabolic world to well carelessly is to end a casualty To dwell without understanding is to end as a victim. Stories of ritualists, of kidnapping, of wicked, brutal robbery. So on and so forth. What do you do? What do, do you do? To exist in, instead of existing as a victim, what keys should we employ? Number one, dwell in the secret place of the Most High. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In verse 9 he said, Because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Since you have decided to live inside God, 
there shall no evil befall you neither shall any plague come near your dwelling so dwell in the secret place of the most high live inside of God number two possess the shield of faith I was I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him I will trust surely he shall deliver me the shield of faith Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 above all taking the shield of wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked that is be aware that you are not a wasteable material be convinced let your conviction be strong that you can't just die anyhow possess the shield of faith the bible said it is unto every man according to his faith That no devil will use your life for blood sacrifice that Jesus already sacrificed himself for you therefore you are not permitted to be sacrificed by a ritualist or a terrorist shield of faith number three possess the shield of truth he said his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Possess the shield of truth. That is, it implies two things. Literally live in the realm of truth. Literally live in the realm of truth. The life of lies, the life of falsehood, and the life of deception can cut life short. One man lied that he was the one who killed Saul. And David killed him. I'm sure you remember the story. Pa S.A. Sadella lived to be almost 108 years old. 112 years before he died. They asked him, what is the secret of your life? 113 years. He said one of his secrets was the secret of truth. Truth. He said in the year of 1960 or so, he was coming from a vigil and he was, he was sleeping. He, he, he slept on the steering and he knocked somebody down and the person literally died or became unconscious. When they took them to police and to the hospital and so on, they said to him, what happened? He said, I was just coming from the vigil. I didn't know when I slept on the steering. He said, I must have knocked her down when I was sleeping. They couldn't believe that somebody could say such a thing. They said, all right, it is well. Let us pray that the woman does not die. You have told the truth. She lived and he was free. Taking the shield of truth. Truth. Another truth is the word. John chapter 17 verse 17, thy word is truth. That is, let the word of God equip your heart. John 17, 17. Let the word of God, let the word of God shield you. Let ensure that you are in possession of revelation. Don't carry an empty heart. Per time. Let something dwell in your heart as to the reason for your boldness, the reason for your confidence, the reason why you say you can't just be killed like that. So number one, dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Number two, 
possess the shield of faith. Number three, possess the shield of truth. Number four, possess the word of faith. Or rather, declare the word of faith. I will say, 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 what you cannot say, you cannot see. What you say is what God confirms. I will say, I will say, I will say. When men say they are cast down, I will say there is a lifting up. When men say things are not working, I will say things are working. When men say these days, anybody it can be anybody's turn to go, I will say it's not my turn. I will say, declare the word of faith. So you will say, supposing I say it and the devil does the opposite, impossible. If you say it from the heart of revelation, you see the manifestation. Declare the word of faith. Number five, avoid the trap of fear. Avoid the trap of fear. Thou shall not be afraid. Verse 5. For the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Avoid the trap of fear. Avoid the trap of fear. Avoid the plague of fear. Those who the things that you fear, they have a way of locating you. Job said in Job chapter 3 verse 25, he said, the things I greatly feared has come upon me. Don't fear that you can die suddenly of cancer. Don't fear that you can die suddenly of, of HIV or you can die suddenly of uh, a stray bullet or something. Avoid the plague of fear. Fear is a magnet. Fear magnetizes in your direction. The things you fear. Fear is a magnet. And I am aware that the, the devil smells fear. In, he perceives and he perceives fear. And once he perceives it, he goes in the direction of fear. Am I communicating at all? Avoid the trap of fear. Number six. Possess the shield of love. Possess the shield of love. You saw what he said in verse 14. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name because he has said let your love for God be known to the devil let your love for God be known to the witches and the wizards let your love for God be like the love of Daniel for his maker that love that made it impossible for the lion to, deliver, to devour him Love is, is a shield, just like faith. Do I have any proof? Yes. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse, chapter 5, and in verse 8. First Thessalonians says, But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. Breastplate. Is a, call it body armor. Love is a body armor. Your love for God, love for man shields your heart. It makes you not a wasteable material. 
Am I communicating at all? Love has the same potency like faith. Let your heart be beating hot after God. Beating hot after God. Beating hot after God. Then you come to the point where instead of God making you, allowing you to be wasted, you will make a thousand to be wasted. Say, I will give men for you because I have set my love upon him. So possess the seat, the shield of love. Don't just be a Christian who just comes to church because of what you want out of God. Be somebody who is serving God because you are passionate for God. When we grew up in the Lord, the issue of what was your prayer request did not exist. It was a matter of hot love. It was fire for God. It was passion for God. Nothing else mattered but God. And it will save you. One million witches can kill a lover. A lover of God before his time. One million native doctors cannot kill a man, waste a woman whose love is hot for God. It is God who will waste them to keep you alive. Am I communicating? Get set. And let the devil know that this year is not like other years. Possess the shield of love. And number seven, maintain the fervency of prayer that prayer also includes the fast maintain the fervency of prayer the fervency of prayer refuse to be lukewarm he said watch and pray that you enter not into temptation don't dwell carelessly be prayerful listen prayerfulness is doorway to spiritual sensitivity is doorway to spiritual alertness when you are prayerful you are spiritually alert you are spiritually aware you are spiritually awake you are the one to take the devil by surprise you are the one to take that devil by surprise said when you pray say our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in earth. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 9 I'm reading. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. So the place of prayer is the place of escape from traps. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The place of prayer is the place of deliverance from disaster. That is why we are here for 21 days, praying ahead of the year to be delivered from traps, delivered from disaster, delivered from snares. Beloved, it is only when you get to heaven that you will realize what the enemy planned for you that could not succeed because you prayed or your mother prayed or your pastor prayed or your wife prayed only when we get to heaven you will realize all the things you escaped and you have escaped many things somebody say a loud amen somebody say the loud most amen so what have I said so far seven things escaping disaster dwell in the secret place of the most high let people come around you and feel god possess the shield of faith let there be an unwavering conviction that you cannot be wasted anyhow possess the shield of truth truth literally and the truth of scripture let the revelation guard your heart declare this the word of faith never confess unbelief doubt or fear no matter how much. Avoid the trap of fear. Avoid it. Any film, any movie, any discussion that impart fear, avoid it. Run from it. Avoid the trap of fear. Possess the shield of love and then maintain 
the fervency of prayer. One reason for this particular fervency of prayer is first that it destroys the traps and secondly imparts you with sensitivity so that you don't travel anyhow when you are not meant to travel. So that you don't, you don't call somebody your friend who is not meant to be near you at all. You are sensitive in the spirit. You, are, you just know. You may not see a vision. You may not hear a voice. But in, inside you, how many of you understand what I'm talking about? You just know. You know. Somebody say no. no there, the spirit there is seeing. There is hearing. There is knowing. Knowing. And it's as strong as hearing or seeing. I checked the scripture with my wife the other day. And we saw that almost 80 to 90 percent of Jesus's operation was he perceived and Jesus knowing their heart and Jesus knowing their conscience and Jesus knowing and Jesus knowing so the prayer place will develop your Noah <laughs> stand up on your feet I speak my prophecy to somebody this year no devil shall waste you not just this year you shall fulfill your days the devil shall not waste your life shall not waste your brothers shall not waste your sisters shall not waste your loved ones and I prophesy I announce you shall fulfill your days if you came in late and you didn't hear this message is good, you pick it up.